Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers and welcome to another random blog video talking about things that I'm doing and or have done. Recently, my friends at Toman in Germany sent me some interesting, obscure, random, strange things to review and demonstrate. Here's one of them. And what I've deduced really is that bass is really easy. And if you're a guitar player, it's much easier than playing the guitar. And um, they've got big strings. So it's like, you know, it's an easier physical thing to do. Bassists have it easy, basically. But it sounds better with a pick. So if you're a bass player, my advice to you is forget the fingers, use a pick. Slapping is for slappers. <laughs> Picking is for winners. And uh, that's all I have to say on the subject. So review coming soon of this enormous and mighty, powerful depth machine. It's gonna be fun. They also sent me this, which actually is really interesting. This is a guitar lute. I picked out a lute for my dad from Toman uh, months and months and months ago, and he absolutely loves it. His was an, a an actual Renaissance lute. This is a guitar lute. I had a few teething issues with the bowl slipping and then discovered from one of my aunts, obscurely who plays lute, that a chamois leather will help it stick to my legs. So... I need a bit of practice, but as you can tell, it sounds absolutely stunning, and I can't wait to crank out Wonder Boy <laughs> or something else with this random loot guitar. Should be fun. So thank you to Toman for sending me cool things to talk about. I've also got some other gear coming from a bunch of other exciting companies, microphones, wireless kits. As you may or may not know, recently I went back to Andertons.co.uk, home of Tone in Englandershire to hang out with my buddies, Lee, Pete and Taylor. And we shot some fun slash very stupid things. <laughs> uh, here are a few of them. If I drink only Evian water, but doesn't eat anything for a week. I just drink that water. Yeah. Would you drink my piss? Yeah. Would you? <laughs> I had a really cool peek at the new Laney amplifiers. They're absolutely sick. Kind of low wattage, high gain if you need it, reverb built in, awesome looking little confinement containers of power. I was using a music man, I think it was a Cutlass. Man, such a nice guitar that they sent Pete. Beautiful green Cutlass that I'm abusing. <laughs> Hi, I'm from 1975, here to save your musical soul. And in the 70s, going into the 80s, and then the very early 90s, we had a thing called digital processors. Zoom, Digitech. I owned an RP1, rack things. Everybody wanted a rack unit. I had the BBE Sonic Maximizer. Bow in awe of its power. And <laughs> when I was at Anderton's, Lee had received a whole load a very cool vintage gear from the 80s. Man, it was so much fun trying to get it to work. We've got the Zoom 9050, the GSP 2101, and the Metal Machine, if anybody remembers the Metal Machine, MM4. Unfortunately, the Metal Machine didn't make it. Smoke, it was a complete no-show. But the others, with a little bit of encouragement, became incredible. <laughs> the smoke coming out of it. <laughs> I think it's just dust. I, I think mean, we got you got to hoover it, vacuum it. Whoa, look at that smoke. There yeah, it is. Yes. That one screw. Oh, it stinks. Yeah, that looks fine. 
Oh, it stinks. It's probably just dust. Yeah, it's not dusty at all inside, is it? But it's got nothing on it to suggest. We got any new valves? <laughs> we don't need new valves, baby. These are <laughs> great. Honestly, listening to 2101 when it was cranked up and had new valves and was all sorted made me question whether or not digital processing has improved. I genuinely don't know if it has. That's one of those weird questions. Do things actually improve or is it just a new thing that we get used to? I don't know. Green screens. They're a lot of fun, especially when you've got a green screen suit that Pete purchased and originally for me and then we put Lee in it. <laughs> this, this may end up being one of the best videos Lee and I have ever shot together. I like your socks, Lee. Oh yeah. Good job. You know somewhere, somebody has a huge fetish for Lee Anderton putting on skin tight green screen clothing. <laughs> I think this was Pete's idea. I think it was. You might have to zip me up, bro. Won't be the first time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's oh, it's beyond great. Oh my God, this is like a Lord of the Rings. Well, like a sort of an overweight Spider-Man. <laughs> um, Spider you know what, mate? I can't, I can't even tell you what you look like right now. <laughs> Turn around. Yep. There's got to be a zip bit. Yeah, oh, there is. Okay, okay, I got it. There's a green tube as well. Oh man, it goes right at the back of your your head. Touch my hair in it. Yeah, no, I promise. I promise not to. <laughs> It's probably easier if you stand up, actually. Ow! <laughs> there you go! Yeah! <laughs> oh, Can you see? <laughs> no. Oh, that's a good point. No, I can't lapel. You'll just have to catch me on camera audio. It'll be fine. Catch me outside. How about that? We can. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Huge is cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that about wraps that up. Don't forget, if you want to play bass, it's easier than guitar, uh, and you can use a pick, and it sounds great. As evidenced there, I've been Rob Chapman. Take it easy. Chappers out. <laughs>